season deer camp. I already see a gun already laid out there. We're gonna uh, get some stuff unpacked. I'm just excited to get out in the stand, see a bunch of pile of deer and pull the trigger maybe on a doe or hey if I'm lucky a nice buck. We'll see. Just a uh, nice trip to get away and experience a different type of hunting than the big woods in New Hampshire. So. Oh. Shoes out of there too. Oh, all right. Just getting everything ready for the morning. Um, got to bring blind chairs, maybe some shooting sticks just in case and whatnot. Um, one thing I did want to address because I know it's going to come up. And it's super polarizing, and that's fine. Is just the issue of baiting. Oh, baiting is legal in Ohio, um, and honestly, late season here. You're really going to struggle if you're not feeding the deer. Um, a lot of these properties in this area are super small, so it's like you know, 20 to 100 acres. Everybody's baiting around you. If you're not baiting or at least feeding the deer on the property, you're not going to have the deer late season. It's not my favorite way to hunt, obviously. I mean, I'd rather be in the top of a mountain with no bait, always in the big woods. But this is how we do it out here. I like to come out here. Um, it's a good time. There's lots of deer. I see my buddy Jared and this is what we do so definitely a different hunt it's not for everybody totally understand that not my favorite way to hunt but it's just kind of how it how it goes out here late season so that's what we do so it's more of a you know experience see a bunch of deer pull the trigger um, get some meat where we don't have as much opportunity in new england to put meat in the freezer we have plenty here so if you're from ohio or kentucky or this area you totally know what i'm talking about and it's commonplace but it's just different hunting cultures and this is the this is the culture out here is to to do that so you know it is what it is. Anyway, I want to show everybody this gun we got, which I think is pretty sweet. We're going to be running this thing tomorrow. So Ohio uh, now allows, or has for a few years, is allows straight wall cartridge rifles, which is awesome. So we've always hunted with shotguns or muzzleloaders out here during firearms that we can use. A 350 Legend. So this is the Mossberg Patriot. It's actually the youth model, which I like because uh, my kids can use it in the future when they get old enough, my boys old enough to shoot. It's super lightweight, short stock, and there's like zero recoil with that 350 Legend. And it's built to hunt whitetails in these states that are now allowing straight wall cartridges like Michigan and uh, Iowa and Ohio. So I'm super excited to use this gun. Um, it's way more reliable, obviously, than a muzzleloader, uh, more accurate, less recoil than a shotgun. And the performance is uh, a little bit better than both of those. You get a little better velocity unless you're doing some crazy stuff, but um, we're shooting a Hornady 165 grain bullet right there. Pretty cool little load. It's probably good out to 200-ish, I would say. I don't think we're gonna have to shoot that far, but anyway, I'm, I'm pumped to use this gun. We got uh, zeroed in a month or so ago, and uh, it's gonna be awesome. I'm excited to hopefully kill something with it, fill the freezer, and hey, who knows, maybe tag a nice buck. But uh, this will be an awesome change from what we've been grinding out in the woods for the past, how long has it been, Chris? Uh, uh, it's the 30th? Three weeks. Yeah, three weeks or so with nothing to show for it except for fond memories. I've never actually hunted, I don't think, Ohio's uh, regular firearm season. I always hunt their two-day uh, firearms or their muzzleloader or post season. So anyway, I'm pretty pumped on it. <laughs> Should be a, a good few days out here. It's raining pretty good. 
might postpone our departure. Well, I know we're going all blind, but we're still gonna. I don't know. I don't know if we need to get soaked. <laughs> I also don't know if we're gonna be moving. Alright, so here's the deal. Got a little more sleep. It's probably, what is it, 10.30? I think 10.30. Probably. Maybe 11. We'll get in the blind about 11. We only have a short distance to go. Anyway, as you can see, switching from rain to snow. That's a good thing. Precipit There's a deer right there. Running. <laughs> Actually. But anyway, um, precipitation's letting up. That's a good thing. Um, so I can see them moving right now. Open day gun season. We're going to get in the blind and sit out the rest of the day and hopefully have some action. We're going to get to it because I think they're going to start moving right now. So let's go. To the blind. second when we get all settled. Basically, my dad, my buddy Jared's place. Um, we are hunting. We're basically on the top of a ridge. Basically, basically, <laughs> basically, the ridge goes down. And basically, there's a lot of deer in here. Now, um, we are at the top of a ridge. There's a food plot out in front of us. Oh, I don't know, 50 yards. We're kind of back tucked back in the timber in this blind. We have a good wind. It's blowing away. There's a ton of deer on this place. I'm pretty optimistic. We're gonna have a good three days of hunting, or at least have a good set where we have an opportunity in the next three days. So there's actually a stand on a tree about 20 yards from us. I'd rather be in that stand, but um, I hate sitting in a box, but you know, when in Rome. You know what that means, Chris, when in Rome? No, I don't know anything. When in Rome, do as the Romans do? You heard that expression? No. No, okay. I didn't think you had. I heard, uh, Treat someone like they treat you. That's what I heard. That's not even the, that's not even the no. expression, Chris, and it's not applicable to the situation either. That's the only one I've ever heard. <laughs> Poor kid. Poor kid. Uh, all right, let's see what we see.
Where is he? 
scalpula or maybe just behind it like oh. high like with that so it's how far he's out there for 80 he's down oh, here wow. okay um so i can't imagine to get through it but if he, i got through it he's done but there's probably not gonna be a lot of blood because it's high and i got yeah. went through that shoulder and then probably, probably didn't probably didn't get no. through all the way he, he mule kicked and then was running hard oh great so, so you want to watch maybe and see yeah, what you think take an eyeball. all right we're gonna flip this around because jared's gonna take a look we're gonna wipe that lens because there's some water on it He's right there. Thanks, man. I didn't even see him. Here you go. Swap, Swap lights. Sorry, oh, he busted one right off. That's a nice buck. Yeah, that'll work. That's a sweet deer. He's got a big head on him. That's the one thing I noticed when he turned when he came in. He's always him trying to shoot a mature one. Right. And I'm yeah. like, that's him. I looked at his head. I was like, yeah. He's, He's at least go. four. That's cool. Heck yeah. Oh, here comes the Calvary. <laughs> See that? That little freaking bullet. Yeah. That 350 legend out of the Patriot put him down and what do you go, 50 maybe? Not even 50 yards. Perfect hit. I like to shoot him. I don't know, a lot of people guys tend to go back. I like to shoot them forward because like they don't go fast. Forward. Yeah, they don't go very far when you hit them forward. So much vascular stuff up there, heart lungs. What do we do here? Hey man, how's it going? I heard you shot one too. Check that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's right. That's a pretty good count. Yeah. 
You wanna see what I shot it with? Look what he shot. Look at that. That's the same thing you probably shot yours with. Yeah. Recognize that? Do you know what that is? C50 Legend. That's right. Oh boy. <laughs> that's awesome. He's six, but he knows his gun. Right? Yeah. Well, that's a great thing about these. This is a youth model too. Nice. Probably fit every all you guys. Great. That's a good thing about these guns. For you know, oh, Ohio cool. and what's the other one? Ohio, I think Michigan has it now. Yeah, Michigan's big with it. Iowa, I know has it now. I'm pretty sure. Sounds right. Yep. But you can, you know. Yeah, they're really catching on around here. Yeah. They're awesome guns. Well, let's get a tag on them. And get out of this stuff, I would say. 156. I'll go 149. <laughs> Grab him. So it doesn't just drop back. Am I close? Nope. I need to pull down. I think Mr. Oh. <laughs> I was like, really? I can't even see 147. it. 147.8. 148. Let's go 148. Did you go 149? Yeah, he wins. Yeah, I have an orange vest on. All right, I'll, I'll try to get it. What's that, bud? Nice, here. What are you pointing at? We're going down and we're going to that thing We just dropped off uh, a bunch of meat. Sorry, it's a little loud here, here in the, near the highway. A bunch of meat to get smoked, so that's gonna be awesome. A bunch of venison. Um, we'll pick that up soon or later, or get it dropped off. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, leave us a comment. It really helps us out and uh, it allows us to keep bringing you that kind of content. So, we got snow coming, tracking snow in New Hampshire, and uh, Hopefully we'll have some good luck going forward. We'll see you in the next video.